Well hello YouTubers, this is Nick and I'm here with a quick tip. Um, this video is for first time builders. If this is not your first time building a quad, then this video is probably not for you. So the question comes up all too often. You put your quad together, you tediously sync it to Betafly, you get your radio um, bound to your receiver, and you flip the switch and your motors start acting erratic. Okay, so first of all, we're going to remove our props and then we're going to move over to the bench and then I will kind of explain from there. All right, so now that we're on the bench, we're going to plug in our battery. All right, and now we're going to turn on our radio. Alright, so as we arm our quad, Engage. Engine. your motors are spinning, it is at zero throttle, and we're going to raise the throttle, and then lower the throttle. Yeah, now there they go. It's at zero throttle, and they're spinning up. Okay, so what's going on behind the scene is basically you put your throttle at zero throttle and the motors start to spool up or start to uh, increase speed. Um, so what's going on internally is your gyroscope on the flight controller senses vibrations. So what it's doing is it's trying to stabilize your quad um, and because you don't have any props on, is not getting the response that it gets so then it tries to increase the speed um, trying to fix the movement that it feels and it's not fixing it so it loops around that is called a pid loop and it loops and loops and loops trying to stabilize this quad but nothing is happening because you don't have the props on but that's all it is you're fine um, put on your props go outside fly and have fun Thanks for watching.